Mabel Mablethorpe, I think, actually. Was it? Yeah. British Ibiza, you know. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Great. It's been a few years since I visited there, but uh, yeah. Good. Had a lot of time. Thank you. Oh, I'm really pleased. You're breaking up just slightly, but um, I think we'll be okay. So shall we go for it then, Val? Okay, jump in. <laughs> okay then, let's go for it. So Val, welcome this morning to The Gift. And Val, you were trained as a drug and alcohol counsellor, but sitting and listening to someone else's pain and being able to give comfort to them sounds like a gift to me because not everyone could do that. And some people may even feel very low having to listen to someone else's problems. You provide patience, support, attention to detail and a listening ear. Did this gift come easily to you? I would say yes. Okay. I'm very much a people person. Um, but I do believe that listening is a gift. Um, a lot of us don't listen um, these days. Um, Counselling um, became part of me gradually um, through different situations and circumstances. Obviously, different people came into my life. Yes. Um, and um, I have to say, it's... It, for as much as that you are dealing with very sad situations sometimes, all of my um, results are very positive. You know, I, I really felt that God had his hand on me and that was the calling that he gave me. Um, and he definitely encouraged other people we are not as counsellors we're not there to solve that problem no so being a christian um you can feel a little bit more relaxed in that if that makes sense um, because you are just listening to somebody um you know you're not there to give advice um, to say do this or do that you're there to listen yes. to show that empathy and to show that care and yes it's sad sometimes if somebody you know dies and you're counseling them through that situation or in you know, um, various other situations it's very sad and lots of times I used to come home and cry yeah. uh, you know um, but um you do know that you're there for a reason that god has called you for that purpose and that's everything everything yeah that's really lovely Val. and often people do want that listening ear and as you say there are some very sad occasions as well now philippians 2 4 says not looking to your own interests but each of you to the interest of others now, that first describes to me someone who cares. And you often see people, don't you, in the middle of what can be a difficult period in their lives. How can the average person then, Val, bring comfort to that person, do you think? Right. I know we're talking in a professional sense as a counsellor, but let's step back a few steps and have a look at that. If you had a friend... Um, who was experiencing difficult situation, what would be the kindest thing you could do? Is just sit down and have a cup of tea with them, hold their hand and maybe pray with them. Um, that is where as counsellors, we, we step in, you know, um, but we should all be in that situation. Um, we can't all give everything we can't give what we don't have um, but we can be there for each other I was very much thinking about what you said God didn't put Adam on the earth on his own he brought Eve along to give him some company and that shows us right from the beginning the example of how we need to be there for each other 
Um, and it's not solving other people's problems. No. It's just being there and being that friend. Being a counsellor is different because, you know, very often there are very intimate things that come out, um, you know, but ultimately we are all there for each other. Um, and as Christians, we know that, you know, um, and we appreciate that, don't we? Yes. That we? You know, that God is with us and we're never alone. Um, he said he'll never leave us nor forsake us, um, which is so comforting. Um, but it's all right. I've written my notes down on the board. That's OK. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. But as a counsellor, you know, um, it's vital that we are there to replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts. I agree. To build, to build that person up to a place where they can make the next step on their own. They're not on their own. Mm. But it's not it's not giving advice or anything like that. It's it's building somebody up to be who they are in Christ, you know, um, and to show them their worth. Yeah. Do you think it takes time, Val, to build up that positiveness inside? It doesn't happen overnight, does it? Every situation is completely different, Jeannie. Right. Okay. And every, every, every individual is different. Right. It's like I said, you know, from the start, what you have to do is listen, you know, and when you listen, you hear more than you do um, at any other time, you know. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, I think that's, it's, yeah. Did an that important help? point. Yeah, it does. That's an important point. And Val, so you help people then in society and the Bible talks about our need to show empathy. Yes. Jesus made it clear that to be his disciples, we need to be engaged with the pain and suffering of a fallen, sinful nature. And Paul, who said we should weep with those that weep romans 12 verse 15 do we fail in our duty when we sit back and just watch your opinion i don't want to be judgmental on that one actually and that was one of the questions that made me stop and think for a while yeah. um and that was where i came to the conclusion about adam and eve yeah um we we are not alone no we are together um, and we all have something to give even if that's just a, a cake you know when somebody's a little bit down um, the, the difference I think is um, it is that listening and that caring and just that person knowing that they can share all the awful things that they've got inside yeah. of um, and and that confidentiality is absolutely crucial um, because a lot of us just don't feel that we can share anything around mm -hmm. us because, you know, people chatter too much, yeah. uh, you know. So having a counsellor um, gives you a little bit more security in that you know that they're going to be completely confidential with what you say. Um, but prayer, I think, is always our first line of defence, you know, um, and even as a Christian, you know, when we go into a counselling situation, we can't force that on somebody. But I believe that when we pray, we take God with us into that situation. And, yeah, and the countless times that people have said gosh how peaceful was that you know or, you know made lots of lovely comments not about me but about the sense of god's peace being there um so it's important you know that we pray um 
Um, and there are so many ways to help each other. We know that. Obviously, we can't give what we don't have. No. But we've always got something that we can give, even if that's a hand, yeah. you know, reach out. Yeah, I agree totally with what you've just said, Val. And also, I think people need to know that um, this being not judgmental as well, because yeah. then people feel free to open up, don't they? You know, Absolutely. if we're not judgmental. And Absolutely. we are asked also to get involved, to get our hands dirty and help the suffering and lost. In Matthew 25, verses 31 to 46, we know that Jesus judges those who call on his name based on the care they show to people in need, like the poor, the stranger, the sick and the imprisoned. Now, that sounds very practical and hands on to me. So how do we view that scripture in Matthew 25 then, Val? Well, for me, the answer was in verse 40. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, I'll tell you the truth. Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Yeah. Yeah. And so as much as I was a trained counsellor, I believe that we all have that gift in of caring, of sharing, of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness. Yeah. Um, and it's having the confidence to just be able to reach out to somebody, um, whether that's a need or, you know, um, how can I explain it? I have a, a feeling when I'm near somebody that something's not quite right. Yeah? Yeah. Very often I will have that feeling of just putting my hand on their shoulder. Mm. Yeah? yeah? And I tell you, nine out of ten times, Jeannie, it's been absolutely positive. Um, but I think you've got to be in that place you know, to be able to want to share. Yes, not, of course. Not, not tell people how to live their lives, not, you know, just to be a listener and a carer, to be a hand and, and of comfort to people. Yeah, and I think you've got that sensitivity. That's why you can uh, reach out to people and put your hand on their shoulder and say, hey, look, you know, uh, can I help you sort of thing so that's really wonderful and that may be something that the Lord impresses in your heart that feeling too so Val do you think every carer has their own style what's your take on that of course they do yeah we're all completely unique you know we're all different um and I believe you know that as much as it's a gift it's a it's a gift in a different way for different people exactly and moving into different situations and circumstances i mean um could i handle being in afghanistan now i'm not sure mm -hmm. you know how would we handle it so um but god knows the right people to put in the right place at the right time and that i truly believe yeah. you know I do. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Good answers. So, Val, many countries have a team of healthcare people in society, which makes a big contribution to people's well-being, like you yourself. Those of you who do this kind of work are a gift from God to the rest of us. Your knowledge is invaluable to society and we would not function well without you and those long hours you have worked with others. What keeps you going? Oh, bless you. Knowing and believing that I'm answering God's call on my life is everything. Um, and knowing that I'm there, he's using me, um, be there for others is such a privilege so humbling Jeannie um, and when the testimonies come back of the way that you know things have turned around for them it's 
a wow moment. It really, because you get to see the hand of God at work in different people's lives um, and it's transforming. It's amazing. Yeah. And very encouraging as well. So Val, during the pandemic, healthcare professions have played a mega part uh, in society. People have began to realize just how important they are. Although God has always seen your importance when we have taken it for granted. How do you think this next Bible verse is helpful? It says in 2 Chronicles 15 verse 17, but you take courage, do not let your hands be weak for your work shall be rewarded. And I believe that totally, 100%. And I've experienced it so many times in my own life. You know, um, a lady walked up to me one day and said, Val, I want to say thank you. You saved my life. Just stop and think about that for a minute. My sister was with me at the time and she burst into tears. We don't realize sometimes the impact that we have on other people. Um, and whether that be negative or positive, yeah? And we have to be careful about who we are, what we say, what we do, because we want to honor our beautiful savior and we want to be that blessing to the people around us, to be his ambassador, to be his heart, to be his hands, to reach out to the people around us. Um, yeah, do not let your hands be weak. Yeah, um, God will empower us um, and enrich us with so much when we start to reach out to each other. Um, and praise the Lord, you know, he's the one that guides and leads us, amen. Yeah, and I think sometimes we could be the only person that that particular person sees that day. So it's good to be kind and show kindness. Mm -hmm. So Val, what a wonderful gift. Thank, thank you. you, Val. Well, thank you, Lord. Yeah, it's been great to be with you, Jeannie. And I hope it encourages other people, you know, Very just much. out um, and just be yourself. Um, just be kind and generous um, and God will bless your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> great. Thank you, Val. God bless you. Bye. How did you find that, Val? Well done. They were super answers, you know, really super oh. answers. Yeah. You know, that will speak to lots of people today, Val, because, you know, sometimes we are the only person that they may see the whole day. So I think that's really important to say a hello or a phone call or how you're doing. And it can make their day from a dull yeah. day to a positive, great day. Yes. So I can yeah. imagine you to be a wonderful counsellor, actually. You know, oh. the depth that you have as well, that the Lord has given you there to help people. It is a gift. It really is a great gift. Well, one of the ladies that I counselled for a few years calls me her angel in blue jeans. How's that? <laughs> I'm not surprised, Val. Not at all surprised. 